Hello everybody, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be forging this knife from a piece of 1095 steel. So let's get started. First things first, we'll heat up the forge to about 1850 to 1950 degrees. So we can get this piece of steel about the same. So a nice red or orange heat. So we're going to start by forging the tip of the knife. I usually like to start here first in my experience because I can get the actual desired blade length and then go to the tang. Now as far as forging out the tang, I usually like my tang to be about 4 to 5 inches long, depending on the size of hand that's going to be using this knife. After a couple of heats of forging out the blade length, I'm going to start with the tang, forging it at the ricasso. Now the ricasso is where the tang meets the blade. This is going to be a pretty simple design tang. It's just going to be a straight back forged tang. And then I'm going to drop the knife just a little bit longer, and then I'll start forging in the bevels. Then I'll quickly take this over to the anvil and do a little cross paint, which lengthens the blade. After I get everything to my desired length and shape, we'll get ready to do a thermal cycle. So if you're unfamiliar with thermal cycling, what you do is you take the knife up to a critical temperature and then let it cool the room temperature. You do this to sort of ease the steel after it's been stressed by forging. For this one, I believe I heated it to about 1700 degrees and I did this twice and I let it cool the room temperature. After thermal cycling this knife, we'll take it over and quench it in Parks 50 Fast Quench Oil. This will get our knife considerably hard. After the quench, we're going to take it over to the side of our anvil and do a little file test. Now the file test is when you take your knife, usually press it against the side of the anvil, and you run the side of the file against it, and if it digs in, it's soft, but if it skates, it's nice and sharp and hard. Then we're going to take it over, put it inside of our tempering oven, which will temper it for two hours at about 350 degrees. Then it's out of the temper, into my favorite part, grinding. We're going to start by grinding in the bevels so we'll have a really sharp cutting edge. After we get this knife ground up, we'll just go start hand sanding. We'll start our hand sanding at 120 grit and go all the way up to 600 grit, which will give us a nice polish. This is definitely one of my favorite parts. Then after we get this thing all nicely polished, we'll take it over and put some cedar handles on it. After we drill out the holes, we'll shape it up and then we'll put in some copper pins too. Actually, another part of my knife making is definitely shaping the knife handle. We're going to start by grinding our handle scales from 36 grit all the way up to 150 grit and then taking it and hand sanding it to 600 grit. This will leave a really nice polished finish. These 3M belts are really nice for grinding handle scales. So next up we're going to start by making a kydex sheet. So I've never done one before, so I heated up the material to about 290 degrees, the kydex, and I put it in this little homemade press. So I put down my first sheet, and I put down my knife, which has been taped three times with masking tape, and then put the top layer and put it in the press and let it sit for about 15 minutes. 
afterwards I ground it and shaped it and it turned out really nice actually. That was the first time for everything and this was my first. So here it is all finished up and done. There's the Kydex sheath. It's not too bad. I didn't do the greatest job grinding it, but my knife sticks in there pretty decently. The knife turned out really well. I'm liking this one. It's pretty clean. I like it. So anyway, what do you guys think? You all have a great one.